All Black legend and Westpac mental health ambassador Sir John Kerwin has been visiting flood hit communities recently with a few tips to help navigate the difficult situations they're finding themselves in. Normally after a crisis, you know, it's really hard during the crisis, but people are amazing and they're in a survival mode and there's, you know, lots of, lots of things to do. And then um, when it settles down a bit is when the mental health stuff kicks in. So um, I just wanted to come down and, and talk about mental health and some of the tools and techniques that I use to keep myself well every day and hopefully, you know, if someone can take one thing away then that's really important. So, you know, it's a tough time and I just wanted to come down and tell people that, you know, it, it's okay to be struggling and it's okay not to be okay and you need to be able to have some tools and techniques to get through what is a pretty terrible time. Uh, that's called a worry map. So. Um, Actually, people can download. I've got a free app. It's called Groove. It's got the worry map in there. Um, and I just learned it because I was spending a whole lot of time worrying about what I couldn't control. Um, so it's basically what you can control, what you can't control, what you can do and what you can't do. Um, so what you can't control, you just need to dump. Um, and that takes a bit of practice, right? So you've got to keep saying things to yourself a wee bit. Um, and then what you can do just becomes your 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 plan. So for example, think about something, can I control it? Yes or no? No. If you can control it, what can you do about it? So then you just have a little bit of a plan um, and that really changed my life from a worry point of view. Yeah, I mean that's that's a real good one. Writing things down is, is fundamental um, because you externalise it. I learned it very early in the piece because my brain used to ruminate a lot so and grow bigger problems that they were, but writing them down means you're externalising them and that's really good for you. Um, ask for help. I didn't do that for five years, um, you know, and it nearly and it nearly killed me. Uh, let stuff go. So, um, you know, the L is, I'll put let shit go up there, because, but just let stuff go, um, you know, and that's pretty much where the worry mat comes in. Just if you can't control it, make sure you let it go. And then the last one is be kind. Just be kind to yourself. Um, firstly and be kind to others. Yes, yeah, sometimes it's really hard because you do ask for help and it's not there and, and, and a lot of times it's um, it's difficult. So, you know, first time I reached out for help didn't work out well, um, but I kept asking until I got the right people around me and I think, uh, you know, some of the things can't be solved, you know, like must be terrible for people that have got, you know, lost their houses and stuff like that. Um, but talking about stuff and asking for help around anything is really, really important. Once I reached out and asked for help, I actually started to get a bit better.